Hello, everybody. Um, this is a recording of the lesson plan for one of our grief specific dance workshops. This audio is meant for you to be able to listen to and pause as you need it. You can add music over the top if that is helpful. Um, we're going to be going through uh, one of our grief workshops, uh, movement workshops with you. So uh, something I would like everyone to be reminded of is that this can be paused at any time if you need time to process emotions um, or physical sensations please take the time to do so. Uh, secondly, please be reminded that we are talking about grief um, and loss, so uh, if needed, please make sure to have uh, any support system or self-care uh, needs met and on hand. Thank you so much. We are gonna start with a little warm-up. We're going to take one minute to begin getting into our bodies and um, thinking about where uh, our particular grief that we want to deal with today lives in our bodies. So we're going to start by closing our eyes, taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And I like to start by walking around the room, um, feeling how feeling how my body is feeling today. Um, is there anywhere that's particularly tight? Anywhere that might need to be stretched? And as I'm walking around the room or the studio, I'll start to move any of those places that need to be woken up, need to be stretched, might feel a little creaky. And as you're moving from those spaces, maybe you're just doing a gentle stretch. Maybe your legs uh, are feeling a little cold and you're doing some kicks, some long strided walks, whatever it is that you need to warm up and to get inside your body. As you are doing that, start to mentally start thinking about what center of grief you would like to work with today. That could be a specific loss of a person, a pet, a relationship. It could be an idea. Um, that could be this the idea of loss and mourning itself. It could be the idea of maybe you're going to a funeral soon and you need to get into the headspace for that. Whatever it is, that you would like to work with today, get that in your brain as you start to move. And let whatever concept that you have chosen to work with today start to influence your movement. And just start to notice, okay, maybe I'm moving more with my head, maybe I'm moving more with my chest or my fingertips. Just starting to see where those thought processes are living in your body as you're moving. And we'll take about 30 more seconds to move from the, that uh, idea or memory And slowly begin to bring your movements more to an internal space, bringing them le less energy, focus on letting them kind of come down a little bit until you find stillness. Now, still with your eyes closed, do a brief body scan, this time standing. 
So a body scan means you're starting at the top of your head and you are mentally scanning all the way down to your toes. And you are, <clears throat> for now, you are looking to find where do you feel this grief the most in your body. I personally feel it very much in the center of my chest. Others may feel it in their stomachs, in their mouths. But as you're scanning your body, try to find that particular place for yourself. Once you have, once you've identified where you're holding that grief today, and maybe this is where you hold it all the time, but we're just focusing on its uh, experience today, take three deep breaths into that space. So you're aiming your breaths into that grief center. So deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Last one, deep breath in and out. Now lift up your hands and place them on that space, in that place in your body where you're holding your grief. And you use your fingers just to feel the center, the spherical mass of that grief in your body. As you are feeling that place, begin to sway from that place, from that center. And after a while of that center leading your swaying, you can let your hands drop or you can keep them there. And we're going to begin to move from that place. Let it lead you around the room. If you would like to take note of what kinds of movements come up, you can. Do you just wanna walk? from that place, your chest or your stomach leading you? Are you moved to do large movements, small movements, sharp, round, heavy or light movements? Doesn't matter the specifics, just moving from that place. And now take a moment to freeze in a shape that rounds itself around that space. So my grief center would be in my chest and my arms are currently in a circle around my chest. While you are holding that shape, take a moment to imagine the grief center that I had called a spherical mass like a ball, let it expand to touch your body's edges. Let it push through all the way towards the edges of the shape that you're making. Almost like you've got a protruding circle from your center, which means that your body is now bigger it's in a different shape than it was before. And we're gonna take a minute to move from that center again with this new bodily shape. Does that change the kinds of movements that your body is making? As you are doing this minute of improv, how are you feeling? 
How is that space in your body that holds your grief changing, shifting, expanding as you move? Does the grief itself feel stagnant? Does it feel alive? Do you feel sad? Do you feel content? Curious? And as you begin to slow these movements, come back down to a neutral position, whatever that means for you. It could be back to the shape that you made, it could be just standing still, whatever neutral means for you. And once you've reached that spot, take a moment to let that grief ball re-center and shrink back to its normal size. Or whatever size it feels like it needs to be right now. Is it the same size it was when we began? Is it smaller? Is it bigger? Has it changed at all? Is it living somewhere else now? Is it more in your head as you've been conceptualizing of your grief more? These are all good things to think about. As we take some time now at the end to decompress, say goodbye, and potentially journal about what came up for you. I always find that to be helpful with these kinds of workshops. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.